Silvia Covernaire. I'm a PhD candidate at Lisbon University. Professor Nilsa Pedro is also my advisor. Um, I'm going to talk about uh, the study I, I presented last uh, November, which was my master's uh, project. And um, hopefully in the next team conference I will bring the, the results for the, the study I'm uh, currently developing. Uh, so the project steps, we uh, began by the, uh, the research and the literature review, according to three criteria. Uh, the first one was regarding the, the use of the iPad in education. We specifically uh, looked at uh, this uh, device, the, uh, the iPad, because it was the device that the students were going to use in the classroom as well. So we analysed 22 articles according to this criteria and also two studies regarding uh, the use of mobile technologies in uh, the classroom of English as a foreign language. Uh, we also looked at th uh, two Apple studies regarding the use of Apple technologies to understand um, Apple's technologies use in education as well. Ad additionally, we also, um, uh, regard, uh, we also looked at other reports that had a big number of students that would be important uh, for our study as well. Uh, the second uh, step was the preparation of everything we were going to need in, in the intervention. So we prepared the plan of action according to what we found in the literature. Uh, we prepared all the instruments for the data collection and also the unit and lesson plans with all the digital resources that would be necessary in the intervention. Afterwards, we had the contact with all the students and the teachers as well in the school. We had the activities in class and uh, the, the data collection. Finally, all the data were uh, uh, analyzed and crossed. All the results were crossed and contrasted with the literature. So the results of the literature review uh, pointed out that the, this, uh, this device uh, could add value to educational contexts, uh, not only because of the characteristics of the device, but also uh, due to the high level of usability, but also something I missed in this slide was the fact that we can use many different apps that um, can help us in the classroom as well. The most significant aspects about the iPad's educational use are in this list. So basically the approach to the needs and interests of the students uh, that can help motivate the students in class. The fact that we can um, differentiate learning in the classroom and uh, develop at the same time a large range of skills. Uh, Specific, and more, uh, more specifically the ones regarding uh, digital skills, the, the, the skills regarded to, to the use of, uh, related to the use of technologies. Um, besides that, we can use uh, these devices both for uh, autonomous individual and collaborative work, and the fact that the teacher uh, can, can be in the classroom helping uh, each group and having less of lecture in the classroom. A very important uh, fact for our study was the fact that the students can produce their own digital artifacts as well. Uh, so the goals of the study were to understand if uh, the use of mobile technologies combined with collaborative strategies could impact learning uh, in a positive way when we are looking for productive um, production in the classroom. And production here in this study regards to things, not only the fact that the students are producing their own artifacts, but also uh, the oral production, which is very important when learning a foreign language. So the first, goal, the first goal of the study was to collect all the benefits from the literature, which I've presented. The second was to plan a unit according to everything we had found in the literature and also to implement the unit with two teachers, two classes, the eighth grade, which uh, is equivalent to the A2 level of English. So we worked with 53 students of the, eighth, uh, of the Portuguese eighth grade, um, and the research questions were formulated according to what we found in the literature. So it, uh, the research questions regarded 
the student's motivation when learning the um, English as a foreign language, EFL, um, the development of oral production in English, and also the use of uh, technologies by the teachers and to what, uh, what purposes. So this slide is just to, to explain the relationship between the, the, um, the research questions and the data collection instruments that we have used. So, oh, sorry. So first we started with the students' uh, surveys to uh, answer the first research question. Also the students' products would help us uh, regarding the second research question the teacher's surveys for the third question and at the end of the study we also conducted uh, an interview to both teachers um, in order to have uh, contributions for all the research questions. In this slide I just want to show how the data collection uh, happened according to the intervention. So first of all we had the teachers and the student surveys before the intervention. At the end of interve the intervention we collected the students' products and uh, afterwards, we had the teachers and the students survey. And finally, after uh, analyzing all the data uh, collected before, the teachers interview. So this happened between April and July of 2014. Um, so the, the unit plan and the resources were all organized using uh, iTunes U course manager, which by that time was only available in the in the website and not uh, in the app on the iPad that we can now use to organize the, the, cor the, the courses for the students to, to access. Um, and uh, so we started using the iTunes U course manager online and we can organize all the materials, all the resources, instructions and tasks uh, so that the students can work in class autonomously. And that allows the teacher to move around the class and helping uh, each group when necessary. So these are two screenshots of the, the unit that we have prepared in the iTunes U course manager. So the students could, uh, so this is the first task and the first topic, I'm sorry, I'm not so sure you can see it very well, but um, so the students could, could uh, read the, the instructions and the tasks and tick the, the tasks they had completed. They also had for each task, they also had all the, the resources that were necessary for that task. So they can go autonomously in their groups. They worked in groups of four and five. And uh, they could also, uh, here, they could also go to the materials and see all the materials available. And this using the iTunes U app on the iPad. So, uh, one of the resources we had to produce was uh, an iBook using uh, the, this software that is available for uh, the Mac computer. iBooks, it's called iBooks Author. And we created a digital book that the students could also um, consult uh, independently uh, uh, in, in their groups. Uh, so they started by reading uh, in this screenshot, they started by reading information on the author of a short story they were going to read in, in groups. So the first part was read in class, all together in the whole group, just to help them understand how they could use the, the, the iBooks app. And uh, they also had the possibility to answer several reading comprehension exercises with immediate correction and feedback. We also prepared a glossary inside the book that was very um, useful. Uh, they could read the, the, so the second part of the, which is this screenshot, uh, the, they had a uh, short story and they could read, they had to read the short story in groups and they had to read it aloud, taking turns. Uh, and for the groups that were a bit uh, shyer, they could also use uh, the speech uh, feature, which is an accessibility feature available for the iPad. And many groups also use that. So uh, as for the activities in class, I already mentioned the first. Um, so they started with the, with the reading, accessing all the, 
the instructions and the and the tasks and the resources afterwards they they had to present a uh, a brief sketch of an element that was described in the story but that that had no image at all so they had to imagine what it looked like so they had to sketch it using low tech <laughs> and uh, present it afterwards to the whole group explaining what they had done um, they also had access in the itunes u app they also had access to some models and guidelines for the after reading tasks and they had to produce an animation and a video in the form of a news report. And afterwards, so for that they used uh, these two apps. And afterwards, they could share it using uh, the Edmodo website, which is this one here. And they also presented it in class. Uh, and especially uh, after presenting uh, the, the video they had created, they, they also had a discussion on how they did it and what troubles they had with the use of this uh, technology. This on the right are some screenshots of the animations and the, the videos that the students did during this unit. As for the results regarding the first research question, which was about the motivation of the students, we used the attitude motivation test uh, battery of Gardner. Uh, and uh, in these results, there, there wasn't a big difference in terms of the students' motivation. But the teachers' perceptions during the, the interview was, uh, so they considered there was, in fact, a difference in terms of the involvement of the students and, uh, and how they worked together. So the teachers also referred that the students worked um, in a more active way when they were working uh, collaboratively and that they also participated in class using the English language in a more spontaneous uh, way. As for the development of the oral production of English, uh, we analyzed all the, the students' products. So this is uh, all the, the products that the students developed and we uh, characterized each one of them analyzing uh, the use of the English language according to the A2 level of the Common European uh, Framework of Reference. Um, and the results were uh, quite good, but both classes were already uh, very good. So the teachers told us uh, before the, the intervention. In the, in the interview, both teachers considered that oral uh, the spontaneous oral participation of, of the students in class was more frequent, uh, frequent and they considered that there was quite an improvement in terms of their participation and the, the, bi the biggest difference they, they referred was in terms of the students with special needs, which was something uh, that was also referred in terms of the literature, but that we were not um, looking at, but they both refer that. As for the third um, research question, we use the teacher's technology use scale in a Portuguese version uh, by uh, our, my advisor as well. <laughs> and uh, the biggest difference here was in terms of how, um, the how the teachers used the technology. The biggest difference was here in, t in uh, supporting the students' productions, which was, was something that uh, both teachers weren't doing. So they were using a lot of technology before and after class, but not during the classes and to support, specifically to support, to support the students' productions. Um, and also both teachers considered there was a positive um, impact of the technologies uh, in terms of the motivation in class. Uh, one thing they both uh, mentioned was that the fact that having the iBook and having immediate correction and feedback was uh, a very important f uh, feature of the, the technologies we were using because it also allowed, uh, as I've mentioned, the, the the fact that the students could work autonomously and in their groups. So there were some limitations to this study, obviously. Uh, first of all, we didn't look at uh, the, stu the students with special needs uh, and uh, 
so because of that we we couldn't uh, check if there was uh, the if the impact the teachers mentioned was uh, was uh, in fact what happened in this intervention another limitation was in terms of the time it was a very short intervention so it was only one unit uh, and so because of that there was no time for the students to overcome the novelty effect obviously um, the oral production assessment was also done in groups and uh, we didn't have any contrast with the uh, previous uh, artifacts produced by the students so we couldn't compare um, their work. Uh, also we believe that if we had provided a bit more time uh, for the teachers to, to develop their digital competence and their technolo uh, technological fluency um, it would have been probably it would have been a, a better experience for both te both teachers. So we noticed some differences um, between the two, since one of them already had a tablet like this, and the other one had no previous experience. So uh, as I've referred, I've referred. So the students uh, appear to be more active uh, and. Apparently, they were also more motivated and in, uh, involved in the, in the activities in class, so both teachers referred that. Uh, the students' oral fluency also appears to have improved. The, both teachers also felt it uh, and felt there was a more spontaneous use of the English language in class. Uh, both teachers also used the uh, technologies for more purposes than before and a stronger incidence in the support to the students' products in class. Uh, and also, both, both the teachers considered there was a, a positive impact in terms of the students' behaviour. Uh, for the next study, so for further research, uh, in my next study I'm, I'm uh, looking for, uh, working like this, so uh, I will evaluate a longer a longer um, period of time, so we will be working for a full year, a full school year, uh, and looking for the impact on learning and also motivation. Something we didn't focus and we're going to focus in the next study is the digital competence of the students. Uh, and also we will be looking uh, for the, the fluency that the teachers can develop in terms of the, uh, the use of technology. Uh, since we're going to work with the teachers for a long uh, uh, period of time and also uh, helping them with the planning. Is it time already? <laughs> uh, finally, just the last, uh, the last thing is that we're going to look at um, an, a learning environment with, where each student has uh, one tablet of his own and so that will obviously allow us to individualize the learning process um, and to see the, their progresses. And that's it, so thank you very much. <laughs>